This here's from Fandom Wire. Amber Heard was jealous of Lily Rose Depp's mother. That was not the only reason why Giant Depp sold his $27 million yacht. Giant Depp's prize yacht sailed through turbulent relationships, renamings, and celebrity ownership, only to vanish into the sea of mystery. That's kind of fitting, considering Johnny played a pirate. Let's see what we got. By the way, I like the little choice of picture there for Amber and Lily Rose. And they talk about the court case, how it went on for months. I guess they gotta just, you know, throw that out there for context. And then they say Johnny was with Vanessa Parody for 14 years. They say he had two children with Vanessa Parody, Jack and Lily, we know. And in 2012, they split. Okay, now I guess here's where they get into it. While with Parody, he gifted a beautiful yacht to her, and together they named it the Vajolironja. If I'm saying that right, I guess meaning for Vanessa, Johnny, Lily, Rose, and Jack, but it ends up sounding like something slightly phallic. And they say he bought the yacht used and made it into a masterpiece. All right, sounds like Johnny taking something used and making a piece of art, kind of what Kurt Cobain did sometimes too, by the way. Enter Heard. Heard's reported jealousy played a significant role in Depp's decision to sell his yacht. According to a source who confided in US Weekly, Johnny loved that yacht, but he bought it for Vanessa and Amber is still jealous of her. Well, what a shock. Amber knew about this yacht. She couldn't take the fact it was named after Johnny's kids and ex-wife. I guess that makes sense. However, this wasn't the only reason Depp parted with the yacht. He parted ways with it because he renamed it, or maybe he was forced to rename it, Amphitrolite, after his wedding to Heard. All right, sorry guys. You know I'm a big Johnny fan, but the way he picks names is a little bit odd to me. Just give it a cool name. How about name the yacht Donnie or something? Just have like Al Pacino and Donnie Brasco out there with their leather jackets looking badass. Works for me. Gotta be better than this, um, Vajoriarola thing. And here's one little more tidbit about the story. The yacht was sold for $27 million. An actor of Depp's caliber, it goes without saying, he would want to enjoy a lavish lifestyle. He sure deserves it. However, a life of luxury sure doesn't come for free and the yacht had to pay the price. In order to keep up his high-end lifestyle, Depp decided to sell the yacht named after the Greek goddess. All right, so I guess Amber, as some kind of a root word, is connected to a Greek goddess, and that's where he got that name from. I'm confused with his naming. Eventually, he found the buyer who was interested in the glitz and glam of it all, the buyer being none other than Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling herself. Rowling, thanks to her humongous empire, was able to purchase the boat despite the hefty price tag of $27 million, and thus... The yacht had to go through yet another naming ceremony where it went from Amantha Trite to Ariva. Okay, Ariva, I could say. These other two names, I'm not so good at. But I love Johnny. I like Johnny way more than J.K. Rowling on the whole. However, I'm going to give her the win for the naming here. She is a writer and pretty creative. So yeah, just saying. Unfortunately, Ariva and Rowling's relationship didn't last forever. She ended up selling it at a loss. It has now found its new home under mysterious ownership. Okay, so it didn't actually get lost at sea or something. I guess they meant, as far as the name of it, that got lost. But I see what they mean. The thing went through a lot of changes, although since a boat is an inanimate object, it never actually knew anything about those changes or cared. But quite interesting. Anyway, that's about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, all things Johnny Depp, Megan and Harry once in a while, stuff like that. Before I go, one last thing. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a little thanks button there. It's like a super chat in the comments thing. Some people don't know about it. There's like a little drop menu next to the promote button where the likes are. And if you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.